I know what you're thinking, that bean to cup espresso makers are just for people who don't know anything about coffee. But I wanted to see how easy it is to tell the difference between an espresso dialed in on a semi-automatic machine like this one and from a bean to cup espresso maker. Is dialing in an espresso yourself better than letting the machine do it? Wait, this doesn't look like one of my normal videos. That's because I'm staying with my sister in the UK and I wanted to do one of my videos here because Stephanie is also really into coffee. She has a cafe here in Cambridge called The Courtyard, so she's more than qualified to help me out with this video. Hey Steph. Hello. For this video, I'm gonna be pitting the Scott Slimissimo against the ECM Giotto. I'll be dialing in an espresso manually with this one and seeing how it holds up against a beans cup machine and Stephanie's gonna help me to blind taste test the results. <laughs> Stephanie's gonna try them. <laughs> Stephanie's gonna try them first, and I'll make them in two different cups so that I know which one is which. Stephanie has no idea. So, you, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I think you can probably already tell which one is from here just based on how they look. Can you? Yes, I think I can. Try the orange one first. Okay. It's not bad, it's quite smooth. Yeah, that's much more tasty, definitely. I think this one would be my choice with milk and the other one maybe I would have as a, an Americano. Mm. I usually prefer my coffee with milk anyway, so I would um, go for one that works well with milk. Is it rolling now? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Just visually, they're very, very different. Yeah, and I think you can pretty much tell which one is which. You still have to be honest though. It's good, it's balanced. It's not like sour or bitter. It's a good, nice balanced espresso. Well done, Sneema. Thank you. This one, I can already tell just from swirling it, you can see it's much more watery. And why is that watery? I think it's because it uses a lot less coffee. So this one, we only put like maybe 50 grams in there and it's made like six shots of espresso already. Like okay. that's way more than I would get so out of So there's less coffee in the same size shop? I think so, yeah. I think this is probably using around 6 to 10 grams. And I think a normal espresso that we're doing is about 18 grams. It's very different. Okay. It doesn't taste that bad. No. It's not like it's a terrible taste. It's just very different and not, not as strong, not as balanced. I mean, definitely it's little, not as punchy. Yeah, definitely not. It kind of tastes a bit like an Americano. Yeah. Yeah, like how I would expect an Americano to taste. Not as bad as I was expecting. No. Oh. Yeah, I think it's just simply down to the fact that you don't have as much control over the whole process with this machine, whereas with the other machine, you decide how you grind, how much you dose, and that kind of thing. So yeah. I think you just don't have the control on here. Exactly. If you don't have time to learn all of that stuff and apply it every single day, like it does take a little while. This one also heats up really fast. We were yeah, surprised. Yeah, we were really surprised. Yeah. You press the button and you can pull a shot like 20 seconds later, something like that. It's yeah. crazy. Whereas uh, even a single boiler, double boiler, whatever you've got, it's going to take 15 minutes at least to yeah. warm up properly. And sometimes you do want to get out really quick in the morning and just have a quick espresso or a quick coffee and this is probably pretty good if that's the case. Yeah, exactly. But if you do want the best espresso you can possibly get at home, then you're going to need a good grinder and a decent coffee machine and you're going to have to spend a little bit of time learning how to dial in an espresso. Don't you think so, Steph? Don't you think no. so? <laughs> If you do want to learn how to dial in an espresso properly, then click here, where Stephanie is, to see exactly how to do that on whatever machine you've got at home, on a single boiler, heat exchanger, double boiler, it's all the same. As long as you know those principles, you can make a really good espresso. We hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching, and see you on the next one. Why did I do the double fingers thing? That I was don't so know, mad. it's so cheesy. I know. I'll do Go double again. thumbs up just to... <laughs>